The Life of Gregor Johann Mendel. Johann Mendel was born in 1822 in Hinchice in house number 58 to Anton and Rosina, a peasant family of German nationality. Mendel celebrated his birthday on 22nd of July. However, his birth certificate gives the date of birth as 20th of July 1822 with baptism on the same day. Johann had an older sister, Veronica, and a five years younger sister, Theresia. In 1831, Mendel started elementary school in Hinchice, which he attended for the next two years. After that, he continued his studies in the Piarist College in Lipnik nad Bečov. In 1834, in the school records of the year, Johann is mentioned, although in marginal notes, several times as the best students of the class. In the same year, he switched to a new grammar school in Opava, which was directed by the Augustinian Ferdinand Schaumann. In 1838, his father suffered a serious accident and could no longer financially support his son's studies. Mendel started to tutor other students to get financial means for his studies. In 1838, as a result of great exhaustion, Mendel was forced to interrupt his studies and return home for some time. Between 1840 and 1843, Mendel attended the Philosophical Institute in Olomouc. His studies were repeatedly interrupted for health reasons. He was most interested in physics taught by Professor Friedrich Franz. It was Franz who recommended Mendel for the novitiate in the Augustinian Abbey as a gifted student. In 1842, Johann's younger sister, Theresia, gave up part of her dowry in favor of her brother to enable him to continue his studies. In 1843, the financial troubles continued, and after completing his philosophy studies, Mendel realized that he had no financial means with which to conduct his subsequent study of theology. Therefore, he requested assistance from Professor Franz. When Franz had taught in Brno, he had lived in the Augustinian monastery there. The old Brno Augustinians thus turned to him for recommendations of some gifted students for the novitiate. Before he became a novice, Johann underwent a medical examination by Dr. Schwarz from Brno, and he was found to be perfectly healthy cured of the illnesses he had suffered during his previous studies. His parents signed a document, although drafted by Johann himself, in which they gave their full approval for their son to enter the monastery. In 1843, Mendel joined the Augustinian order as a novice at the Old Brno Abbey on 9th of October. The abbot of the monastery, Cyril Franciszek Knapp, greatly influenced Mendel's interest in scientific research. In the same year, in 1843, Mendel was given a religious name, Gregor, which is placed before his Christian name, therefore the full name Gregor Johann Mendel. In his spare time, he devoted himself to studying the botanical and mineralogical collections available in the Abbey. In 1845, Mendel started a four-year study of theology at the Theological College in Brno. In addition to the prescribed study subjects, he attended lectures in agriculture, horticulture, and viticulture. In 1847, at age of 25, Mendel was ordained a priest. He celebrated his first Holy Mass in the Church of St. Michal in Dominican Square in Brno. Mendel also worked in a hospital which belonged to the parish, but he found this work to be both physically and mentally draining. In 1848, Mendel took over the experimental garden in front of the refectory where rare plants were grown. Also, Mendel graduated from the theology in June of the same year. In 1849 and 1850, Mendel began to work at the grammar school in Znoimo as an assistant teacher. He taught Greek, Latin, German, and mathematics. In view of his pedagogical skills, Mendel was enrolled by the school management 
in a teaching qualification course, but he failed to qualify. In 1851, thanks to the support of Abbot Knapp, Mendel began a three-year course at the University of Vienna, where he studied mathematics, physics, and natural sciences. He attended lectures in experimental physics by Christian Doppler, lectures on plant physiology by Franz Unger, and laboratory practice training in using a microscope. In 1854, Mendel began his experiments with Greenpeace. He chose this plant because it is self-pollinating, reproduces sexually, and has permanent characteristics. In the same year, Mendel constructed a greenhouse in the garden of the abbey. Mendel focused on selecting suitable traits until 1856, when he began cultivating and breeding the plants. In the same year, Mendel joined the German Upper Real School in Janska Street in Brno, where he taught physics and natural sciences to the junior classes. In 1855, Mendel signed up once more for the teaching qualification examination, specializing in physics and biology, but again failed to pass. In the same year, he was appointed a member of the natural sciences section of the Imperial and Royal Moravian Silesian Society for the improvement of clothing, natural knowledge and natural history in Brno. Starting from the year of 1856 until his death, Mendel evaluated meteorological data from Moravia and Silesia. His role model was the head physician of St. Anne's Hospital in Brno, Pavel Oleksik, MD. Mendel was also a member of the Austrian Meteorological Society. He observed and measured air pressure, temperature, and sunshine duration. Over the years, Mendel published several works on meteorological observations and measurements. In 1861, Mendel co-founded the Society of Natural Sciences in Brno. In February 1865, Mendel presented his work on hybrids at the secondary school in Janska Street in Brno, where he described the results on the preceding eight years of work. Then in March, he presented the results and explained the phenomena observed during his experiments using combinatorics. But this lecture was not published until a year later. 1866 marks the publication of his groundbreaking paper, Versuche über Pflanzen Hybriden, or in English, Experiments on Plant Hybrids. The paper was written in German. The same year, 1866, marks the beginning of the seven years of correspondence between Mendel and the well-known Swiss botanist Karl Nageli on the topic of plant hybridization and hybridization methods. In 1868, after the death of Cyril Franciszek Knapp, Mendel was elected abbot and could no longer devote himself entirely to his experiments with plants. He abandoned his research completely some time later. In 1869, he joined the Beekeeping Association in Brno, which was founded in 1866. He was interested in crossing of the Czech bee with foreign breeds. In the same year, he suffered an eye condition that made it impossible for him to continue with his work on plants. In 1869, he became the vice chairman of the Society of Natural Sciences. In 1870, he gave a lecture on his research of a tornado that had devastated a large part of Brno earlier that year. In 1871, he oversaw the construction of an apiary that was a model beekeeping station in his time. At the height of his beekeeping operations, it comprised of 50 beehives. In the same year, he also made a trip to Kiel with the notable bee beekeeper Zivanski. In 1871, Menda resigned from his position of vice chairman of the Society of Natural Sciences, probably due to a dispute with some members of the association. In 1872, the emperor awarded him the cross of the imperial and royal order of Franz Josef I for merits in public life and in the church. 
in 1873 on the occasion of the wedding of his nephew Alois Sturm, Mendel visited his native Hinchice. He himself celebrated the marriage ceremony of the couple. This was to be his last visit there. In 1874, a new law came into force that increased the monastery's tax burden. Mendel entered into a tedious and exhausting dispute with the state concerning the introduction of this church tax, but Mendel's more than 10-year endeavor proved ultimately unsuccessful. In 1881, he was appointed director of the Moravian Mortgage Bank. In 1884, Gregor Johann Mendel died on January 6th. He was buried on 9th of January in the Augustinian tomb in the Central Cemetery in Brno. This video was supported by the project number ATCZ278 with the title Gregor Johann Mendel's Legacy to Science, Culture and Humanity, which is co-financed by the Interreg Austria and Czech Republic. Down below you see the title of the project in German and Czech. Here I would like to take a brief moment to explain what the project is about, because it is actually an awesome one. The main goal of the project is actually to promote Mendel's legacy by long-term cross-border collaboration in science and culture. There is a strategic plan developed that will promote this legacy in the fields of science and culture in Czech Republic, Austria, but also worldwide. This promotion will take various forms, be it meetings, workshops, publications, audio and video materials. One of the main parts of the project is actually rebuilding Mendel's original greenhouse in the Augustinian Abbey in Brno. This newly rebuilt greenhouse will be a new landmark, not just the city of Brno or the country of Czech Republic, but the entirety of the scientific fields of genetics as such. Mendel's greenhouse is the very place where genetics was born but with the first genetics experiment conducted on peas. Therefore, it is a really, really important location for the field of genetics. As a major outcome of this Interreg project, this greenhouse will become available for the general public, but also the scientific community as a multi-purpose gathering place for cultural and scientific events. This and much more you can find out if you visit the website gjm200.cz, which of course stands for Gregor Johann Mendel and the 200 indicating the 200th birthday of Gregor Mendel, which we celebrate in 2022. Once again, a great thank you to the project and Interact for the support of this video. Thank you for your time you spent on it watching. And from my side, I just wish you a very nice day.